Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Oh, very good. Very good. Does anyone else have the issue of trying to make Slack shut up? You could just close it. <laughs> Good, yeah. I, I know that's not a thing we that, do here, but you could just close it. That, I don't know. That's a that's a terrifying idea. <laughs> <laughs> On occasion, like you can just be in a meeting. I don't know what to tell you. I I, I disbelieve. Disbelieve. <laughs> <laughs> well, greetings then. It never occurred to me that I could I actually have the power to close it. I just... Yeah, I, I have the worst problem. When, when something goes chirp at me, I don't, I don't know which one. There are like six of them and half of the chirps sound the same. How, how do you live like this? Monsters, all um... of you. <laughs> Monsters. Holy smokes. Oh, very good. We're a couple of minutes after the welcome everyone to the CNCF SIG network uh, bi-monthly call. Today is Thursday, June 18th. Uh, we've got a singular item on the agenda. Uh, very excited to be talking about uh, this project today. Uh, a couple points of order, if we may. Um, the meeting minutes link is in the chat. If you have those up or if you don't, please, if you're on the call, please go in there and list your name down. Uh, it's good to record a attendance. Um, today's topic is a project review of uh, BFE. And it looks like we have uh, members of that open source project on the call today, quite clearly. Um, how many of those do we have, or or who all is, who all is from the project today? It looks like we've got at least at least three of you. Miles, Miles John, yeah, I, I'm Miles. I'm I'm from Baidu. Oh, very good, and Miles. And then is it Ty, or T? Hi, this is T. This is T here. T. Hello, glad to meet you. Yeah, nice. T, I'm, I'm a fan of, of uh, the way that you enunciate your, your first name. It sort of reminds me of, of mine. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> <Similar>, yeah. <laughs> Good. All right, fair enough. Enough of uh, the horrible jokes that I have. Uh, I think everyone is uh, drooling to get more familiar with, with BFE. And uh, you have, uh, we have the hour today. And so, uh, please, if you would, um, guys, you know, t take us through. Please uh, introduce us to BFE. Okay, can I, uh, can I start, start now? Please, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I will make a brief introduction to BFE, okay? Um, uh, BFE uh, is an open source layer seven uh, load balancer, and uh, BF stands for beyond front end. Uh, it is written in, in Golang. Uh, so it is more stable and easy to add new features. Uh, BFE uh, was born in uh, 2014 and uh, released as open source uh, in 19, uh, 19, uh, 19, uh, 2019 uh, and under Apache license 2.0. Uh, and uh, BFE was evolving and proving in a very large scale uh, environment. Uh, and the BFE serves more than 1,000 billion RTP requests per day in Baidu now. Uh, and the uh, BFE now have more than two, uh, more than 3,400 GitHub stars now. And uh, uh, you can see that uh, it is applied in many companies and organizations such like uh, CCTV, it is the most famous uh, TV station in China. And uh, these two are uh, very famous commercial banks in China. 
And uh, this is a very large ally company based in Sichuan province. Uh, and uh, this is a very uh, leading interest company. And this is a, a leading internet financial company. Uh, both uh, all, all of them use BFE now. Uh, and uh, BFE has some uh, features and advantages. First, it is a plugin architecture. And then it's very easy to add a new plugin. And then now tw more than 20 building plugin uh, is ready for traffic management, security, observability, and uh, etc. And uh, another is scalable. Uh, it is it, it can be horizontal, uh, horizontal scalable, and uh, it is it support multi tenancy, uh, and uh, it can run on multiple uh, platform. Uh, it is also very easily to in integrated with other projects, for example. Uh, Kubernetes, uh, Prometheus, uh, and uh, others. Uh, BFE can support uh, many pro uh, uh, protocols such as the uh, HTTP, APS, Speedy, HTTP2, WebSocket, and the other protocol. And uh, uh, we plan to support gRPC and the AP3 uh, in the future. And uh, uh, BFE support a very ad advanced uh, routing and uh, balancing. Of, uh, we support a specific language we call condition expression uh, to describe uh, describe routing uh, rules. Uh, we, uh, BFE can also support global load balancer. And uh, um, the uh, of the bit, uh, ability of BFE is very, very powerful. Uh, with, uh, it, it is support uh, a building matrix and uh, uh, logs and the other um, other ways to um, for observability. Uh, here uh, we show a a, a brief uh, example how BFE forward a uh, traffic. Uh, for example, a request to demo dot dot com slash static. For such a request, the first step is to determine the tenant. Tenant. Uh, so uh, by demo dot by do dot com, uh, uh, the uh, tenant we can we uh, it, BFE can determine is uh, this traffic uh, belong to the tenant demo. The uh, first step two uh, to determine uh, the uh, cluster. A cluster means a service. Uh, uh, from uh, demo static dot com and the plus uh, slash static from this table. Uh, for for each tenant, there's a forwarding table. Uh, uh, these are forwarding rules. Uh, uh, every forwarding rules have two parts: vice condition. Uh, another is a destination cluster. Uh, so uh, by this rule, uh, the the traffic is uh, uh, determined to send to S1, uh, one of the uh, cluster. And the, the step three, uh, 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 it, is, uh, it should select a subcluster. Uh, These two, uh, three, uh, in the three uh, available zone. For S1, there are uh, three uh, subclusters. So uh, in the step three, the traffic is determined to send to S1, three in the available zone three. And the last step, uh, select the instance, uh, S131 in this subcluster. This is uh, how BFE for traffic. Uh, let me uh, introduce more about a condition expression. Uh, there are two- hey, Miles. I, uh, uh, quick, quick, quick question if I could, if I could, before I, I will no doubt Forget this question before we you get to the end. Back on your other slide, just briefly, is um, multi tenancy um, defined by subdomains? Is that kind of the unit of tenancy? Uh, pardon? Like the the way in which BFE supports multi tenancy. Okay, um, we we can determine uh, the tenant by the domain name, or the virtual IP. All the uh, or some some other characteristics. 
Okay, got it. Okay. But some other characteristic of the. Oh, uh, for example, the path, the 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 flow U U R path. Okay. Uh, uh, we 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 uh in in Baidu we uh, mainly use uh uh the the domain uh the domain name or or the VIP. That is virtual okay. uh, virtual IP address. Thank you. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So uh, let him, uh, let me continue. Uh, there are two two uh, major concepts uh, in condition expression. One is condition primitive, that that is uh, it is a built-in function for checking specific condition. Uh, this is an example. This uh, this uh, uh, primitive is uh, REQ host in uh, www.bfinetworks.com or bfinetworks.com. Uh, uh, now we uh, BFE support more than 40 condition primitives, and it is very easy to add new condition primitive. Another concept is condition expression. It is a serious condition primitives uh, with operators. Uh, this is an example. Uh, there are two uh, uh, primitives. One is IQ host in bfenetworks.com, and another is IQ method in uh, in get, uh, they are they are connected with the end. Uh, the advantage of uh, a condition expression uh, compared with regular expression uh, is uh, there are two, yeah. two advantages. Why is it is very easy to understand? So so you you I believe that you 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 all can understand the two expressions, right right. Uh, another is uh, there's no risk uh, risk for severe performance degradation, which is a, a very uh, senior problem for regular expression. And uh, uh, in BFE, with uh, BFE support uh, uh, observability in three ways. One is uh, BFE provides uh, various logs for troubleshooting uh, and the data analysis. Uh, for example, server logs, access logs, TRS key log. Uh, the second way is uh, uh, detailed building metrics uh, for all subsystems. Um, BFE ha has an embedded web server uh, for monitor and reload. And the BFE exposes thousands of metrics uh, for external observation. Uh, and it is very easy to add new metrics. And, uh, uh, it, BFE is very easy to work with uh, uh, many monitoring system, for, for example, parameters. And uh, BFE is also provides support for distributed tracing. Uh, BFE now can work well with uh, Jenga, Zipkin, Elastic. Here is a, a demo for how BFE provide the building metrics. Uh, when BFE starts, uh, you can assess a, a, a point, uh, we can a monitor point, and then this page is shown. Uh, there are two, two entries, one is monitor, another is reload. And then in the, this path, uh, monitor slash proxy state, uh, many internal metrics uh, can, can, can show here. Uh, for example, this is uh, uh, how, how many client requests active, the number. Now it is zero, but in the in the uh, in the, in the uh, running system, this is not not a zero. Um, and the, and the with this this uh, parameter format uh, equal parameters, uh, this format can change to uh, uh, suitable for a parameters. Then the, the uh, BFE platform is a, a very uh, uh, a, a little comp uh, complex with uh, more than 10 components. And the uh, uh, BFE, the forward engine, uh, it is uh, uh, now open source. We, uh, we plan to open source more components in the future. For example, the, this uh, uh, is a crypto service. This is a cash service. This is a, a uh, a program for uh, processing uh, logs, and uh, here uh, a console console for BFE, uh, for example API server, uh, web uh, GUI, and uh, and uh, aggregator to uh, 
uh, for, for data analysis. Uh, uh, these co components will be open sourced later. Uh, here is how BFE to work with uh, uh, Kubernetes. There are two uh, scenarios. One is uh, this for for uh, how to work in um, uh, multi uh, IDC scenario. There are two, for example, there are two AZ, AZs, and uh, BFE can uh, load balance between uh, more than one uh, Kubernetes clusters. Uh, so here, BSC work as a global load balancer. Uh, in the right, here is uh, how BFE work as a, a ingress proxy uh, inside a, a, a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, BFE can forward traffic to uh, the AP, uh, APPs in one uh, Kubernetes cluster. Uh, here, here we make a, a, a brief uh, comparison between uh, BFE and other uh, similar system. Uh, uh, for example, traffic, uh, NGINX, and VOI. Uh, I assure you, uh, I'm very familiar with the, these, these uh, systems. Uh, for for the first uh, first system, uh, the similarity is uh, uh, the both supports HTTPS and HTTP2 and uh, support instance level load balancing and uh, all, all, uh, all of them support pluggable architecture. And uh, here is the difference. Um, uh, for example, uh, for has check, a BFE support a passive has check. That is uh, a BFE uh, uh, do not period, uh, send the has check uh, uh, Actually, uh, actively, uh, but uh, if uh, the the traffic forward to the real server, BFE detects some failure, then BFE starts the health check uh, process. And uh, for traffic, it is support active uh, health check, and the engines support passive, and the envoy support uh, active passive, and uh, it is hybrid uh, mode. And another is a uh, BF support uh, uh, cluster level load balancer. Just I, I show just uh, here because it's a cluster level load balancer. Uh, and Edge is uh, uh, now ha not, don't have such a feature. And uh, another is the following rules. Um, Edge support regular expression and the BFE uh, support condition condition press just as I ju just introduced before. Uh, and the traffic, both uh, traffic and voice uh, support based on request content. Uh, and uh, for, uh, because B, uh, both BFE and traffic is uh, returning go long, so uh, the, the cost for add a new feature is uh, very low. Uh, for Nginx and Avoid, uh, they're returning C or C++. So add a new feature is, uh, the cost for add a new feature is high. Um, also, uh, because of uh, the the use use Go Go language, um, both BFE and the traffic uh, are related related to uh, uh, to the, some exception. Uh, for example, uh, uh, it is very easy to do memory management, and uh, but uh, Go Go la uh, Go language provide recovery uh, mechanism. Uh, but for Nginx and the void, uh, we can do nothing uh, with wrong memory usage. And the debug, such a, a bug is very time consuming. And uh, for observability, uh, BFE provides rich internal status, just as Envoy. Uh, but uh, traffic and Nginx provide less internal in status. And another is uh, for support for a configuration hot reload. Um, oh, uh, these three BFE traffic and avoid uh, all support uh, hot hot reload. But Nginx, uh, um, if uh, do do hot reload, the, the process will be started and the active connections will be terminated. 
and the BFE open source uh, is a very open community. Uh, uh, we now have more, more than 40 contributors from various companies and organizations, and the five maintainers from Baidu, uh, Kuaishou, and Baidance. And uh, uh, from uh, July uh, 2019, uh, 10 versions have been released. Uh, so uh, BFE have uh, now rich uh, features, for example, uh, integrated with the mainstream layer for load balancer. And uh, uh, it have uh, support to integrate it with uh, Kubernetes, Prometheus, uh, Jigger, uh, Frontier, etc. etc. And uh, uh, we add uh, many uh, layer seven plugins uh, for traffic management, security, observability, etc. Uh, and here we uh, uh, explain why we want to uh, contribute uh, uh, BFE to uh, CNCF. Uh, BFE uh, is built upon uh, 80 years experience of running uh, product, uh, production load at Baidu. And uh, we believe that uh, B, uh, uh, BFE uh, plus uh, CNCF can enable the adoption of uh, uh, Kubernetes and the uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, ecosystem in the enterprise environment. Okay, here, here are the last page. Uh, uh, now, now uh, this, uh, this website is ready for, for BFE uh, uh, at uh, GitHub, at uh, Slack.com, uh, and uh, at, uh, at Twitter. Okay, this is uh, all, all, the, all the material. <laughs> so so uh, how, how about your question? This is, this is fantastic, Miles. Uh, but I, before some of the questions start rolling in, I have to say, uh, that just the, the level of commitment that uh, those of you who are on the call and it's what, a little after 2 a.m. coming up on 2.30 a.m., is that, is that right? Uh, yeah, um, 2.30 the, right now, yeah. Well, that, that, speaks, that speaks volumes right there. <laughs> uh, very good, so great, great presentation, Miles. Thank you for this. Um, I have a, a few questions, um, but but rather, I would open it up to um, the folks that are here on the phone with us. Uh, questions for Miles, questions for the team. Uh, I have a couple with Nikolai. Um, so the first one would be, and actually I'm coming from my developer background here, so probably a little bit um, kind of slightly deeper dive. Um, so uh, when you say plugins, uh, I know that Go is in general has uh, some problems with plugins. Are these uh, static plugins or dynamic plugins? Like, uh, is it something that you plug in at compilation time, let's say? Uh, uh, BFE can uh, support both static plugin and the dynamic uh, plugin. It is, uh, okay. it is supported by Go, Go language. Okay. Um, uh, have you considered uh, WebAssembly as a way to extend? Uh, I know that it's slightly problematic with with Go GoLang, but uh, effectively, you know, this is a trend that's been uh, you know very very trendy. Do Do you mean uh, WebAssembly? Yes. Okay. Uh, currently, BFE don't uh, don't support web assembly now. But if uh, there uh, there are some requirements, so, uh, I think we can we can support it later. Yeah, I mean it's it's not a requirement. It's just uh, have you have you considered this as an option to write plugins? Because of course, Go is easier than C, for example, as you said yeah. in your presentation, but. Uh, Still, there are people that probably would prefer some other, uh, you know, means to extend uh, okay. Okay. their pro pro proxies. Yeah. Um, um, uh, can you open the slide with the example of your uh, la language, like of your DSL domain-specific language? 
بحدا بحدا where you were showing the requests uh, like the matching uh, like like the domain specific language uh, DSL yes. okay yes. okay okay condition expression yes yes yeah yeah the condition expression okay um, was this inspired by some existing standards or like um, industry you know even informal standards or something like this or this is completely you know uh invented for uh bfe uh uh very honestly uh in fact we we uh designed it by ourselves uh, but uh, mm -hmm. later we find it very sim uh, similar to irus in f5 networks do you know f5 f5 networks yeah yeah so so I so IRUS is a, a more complex and powerful than condition expression, but uh, condition press, uh, uh, condition expression is uh, uh, easier to learn and uh, to maintain. Uh, in, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, at least for me, I mean, trying to to invent a thing from scratch is always harder because you cannot get it right at the first time, but. Okay, uh, the project yeah. obviously is uh, is old enough. Yeah, yeah. You, you might consider that uh, like a, a, like a, the learning curve is too too high, right? The learning curve for for uh, for learn how to configure the BFE is is uh, a little bit higher than mm -hmm. than those other like uh, other those tools with a DSL or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, do we have plan to like? Uh, uh, have plan to to uh, to to uh, uh, have a DSL later for BFE. <laughs> the DSL language, DSL support. DSL DSL support. Yes. He asked whether we will support DSL or not later. What is the DSL? Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, the, the domain-specific language. Domain uh, okay, oh, okay. Domain-specific language. It, it, it means the, the condition traction. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, can you can you please go to the slide with the uh, architecture where you are showing the API server and... Uh, architecture. Yeah, like the, the big uh, picture uh, with all the components for web UI and... Uh... Okay, okay, uh, the, the whole that, uh, architecture, let me, let me find the slides. Uh... Yeah, but my, like my question was, what is what is the protocol that is uh, spoken between the control plane and the, and the data plane? Yes, so this this arrow here between the BFE server and BFE API server, uh, is it uh, like uh, some PB 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 RPC? Oh, okay, okay, it's just uh, uh, RPC. Okay, uh, I'm sure because you you showed comparison with others, I'm sure that you're aware, like um, um, you know the way that. Um, uh, Envoy configuration started and this kind of evolved into this universal uh, DPA, like the UDPA, uh, at least effort from standardization. Um, I mean, at least from my point of view, it would be great if the industry starts to kind of converge towards something more, more uniform, something that can be used across different implementations. Um, and um, yeah, that's my probably my only re remark here. Uh, I don't know how hard it is. It would be for you to 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 be able to support something based on XDS, uh, but um, I guess it would be it would be something uh, useful, I believe. Okay, and my final question here is, uh, of course, coming from the service mesh world, uh, I haven't seen any mention of uh, some of the popular service meshes out there. Have you? Have you had chance to try BFE with, like, being integrated with with the service mesh of 
any kind or oh oh bfe uh, uh don't don't uh, don't su support uh, service mesh directly uh, i think envoy can do better work in this area so bfe uh mainly work as a ingress proxy and uh, here as a, a traditional mm -hmm. load balancer here so so bfe yeah, uh, can uh, will work well with envoy for example here envoy can can serve as a, a service mesh uh, proxy here mm -hmm. okay okay good that's that's all from me really. so. thank you nikolai um uh, questions from others Oh, very good. I have, <laughs> I have a couple. Uh, one is maybe to follow up in part. Uh, Nic Nikolai knocked out a couple of mine, I think. But um, the uh, going back to the concept of plugins and your future-facing support for a protocol like gRPC, um, could you speak a little bit? I think you were in part speaking to the process by which those plugins would be written in Go and uh, my question is, um, was to kind of reiterate, I think, uh, re-ask part of what Nikolai was asking, and that is, uh, how are, how separable are protocol, is protocol support and kind of, uh, protocol filtering f in terms of the code base, uh, for builds of BFE? Is there just sort of a, a single distribution of, of BFE that has all of the filters, all of the plugins built in, or or what what does it look like for someone to create um, gRPC support? Okay, do you mean how to add a new plugin? Yeah. Okay, let me show uh, the GitHub page. So, uh, for for module. Here is a here's a list of uh, all all plugins in in BFE modules. Uh, this is path is GitHub by do BFE. Uh, I think it, all you can access is this web page. So here here are um, a list of uh, uh, all all the uh, modules here, and for uh, for module here is a a a plugin to support a, a sets log. And here is uh, the the main entrance for mod access. I can we can here. Um, you can you can uh, define a a a, a strat module access, and uh, here here initialize it, and uh, you can make some that that says okay, this uh, initialize the the module uh and uh, uh here uh the the main function add the filter to to the plugin uh the 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 callback uh, point add the filter for example uh to uh finish uh request finish we have uh, uh, about uh, 10 or about uh, more than 10 uh a callback uh, point uh for yes. Add add uh, callback functions uh, for for the uh, plugins to add uh, functions. Uh, nice, nice, very oh. good. Okay, that that, oh. mm. that does help. And actually, that last bit of what you'd said also also helps. So oh. The dynamically reloadable configuration that um, BFE supports. Yeah, um, could you that that could be a delicate process. Maybe could could you describe that a little bit more about how to hot reload, you know, in, uh, a new config. Is that, is that just the configuration? Is that a displacement of the actively running process as well? Okay. Uh, 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 it is a feature for a uh, Go, Go uh, language. Uh, in, uh, for Nginx, it is a press, process uh, model. So, so when a new uh, config is re reloaded, uh, the process must be restarted. Uh, for BFE, uh, 
it is uh, apply, uh, uh, utilize Go routine, uh, Go routine. The the, uh, the programming uh, program model is a thread model, multi-thread model. So uh, Next next question. It, uh, thank you so much, Miles. I uh, um, I'm cutting. I'm I'm interrupting just to ask a bunch ask a bunch more questions because uh, you you're doing a great job of answering them. So th thanks for that. Um, to, in order to uh, upgrade BFE itself, you know the the Go binary itself. Um, what is just just very briefly? What is that? Uh, what does that process look like in terms of ensuring that? you know, active traffic that that particular deployment is serving um, is like, is, is, that a, is that a concern that BFE addresses directly or is that a concern that, uh, that you would utilize other infrastructure to? to uh, you, know. you can see this, this picture here, uh, B, uh, over uh, BFE there's a layer four load balancer and the BFE server as a, a real server for load, load, uh, load for uh, load balancer. So traffic come from uh, here, layer for load balancer, then forward to BFE. Then BFE forward to uh, traffic to the back end. Okay, fair enough. I think that answers my question that like, had the process of upgrading from one BFE server version to the next, uh, is a concern that you would deal with probably at that layer four load balancer or that you would deal with sort of outside of BFE server? Uh, traffic uh, uh, is uh, first uh, forward to uh, send to layer four uh, load balancer, then that's uh, sent to uh, BFE. BFE serve as a layer seven load balancer. Yeah, so, so I think Lee's question will be, uh, so if if um, BFE server itself do the uh, do the rolling update like uh, like uh, to to do the rolling update and then how the sessions the BFE session the, those sessions which go through the BFE server will not be killed or will how how can you handle those like uh, existing like connections I think is this what you asked me yeah yeah, yeah. by the way by the way just just for content these questions are. Uh, uh, in, in part, just me and man, hopefully the rest of the folks on the call, just poking around uh, that there is no right answer, wrong answer rather for much of the things that I'm asking. So, um, but yeah, it, it, as a matter of fact, let, let me, yeah. I think, I think I get the gist of kind of the BFE's capabilities in this regard. Let, let me ask a different one about the global load balancing and uh, and I think this maybe in part is a question around um, load balancing algorithms in general that BFE supports. So, so there's kind of two questions. Um, is there a smattering of load balancing algorithms that BFE supports? And then in context of the global load balancing capability, is that location aware, um, would you say? Uh, about the global uh, uh, load balancer, uh, means uh, BFE can forward the traffic uh, 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 across the, the boundary of uh, uh, available zone. And the first time, first time uh, load balancer uh, program, uh, they can only send the traffic to the, to, uh, uh, to the uh, instance level, but the BFE can support the cluster level forwarding. Nice, so BFE is cognizant of an availability zone, like it's it's aware of its location in that regard, or the location of the real servers that it's forwarding to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, in fact, BFE don't care about the location, but uh, BFE uh, can see there are, th for example, three subcluster for uh, this service. So so uh, yeah. People can set a uh, weight here, a weight one, weight two, weight three, uh, to distribute the, the traffic. Also, BFE have uh, have a, a automatic uh, uh, program uh, to to calculate the weight, uh, but we don't uh, have uh, now uh, didn't uh, open source this uh, component. Got it. I guess yeah. Of the algorithm of the load balancing algorithms that are kind of uh, under discussion today that are up for 
consideration as part of this um, proposal. What are those load bal balancing algorithms? Uh, load balance are algorithm. Uh, for for the uh, instance level load balance, we support uh, round robin, uh, WR, or other, uh, for example, uh, list connection, uh, etc. Uh, scaling uh, per, uh, algorithm. Okay, uh, good deal. And just as a point of clarification, so like for the global load balancing capability. Um, uh, you know what, maybe I won't, I, I, uh, good, thank you, Miles. I, uh, when I think about it long enough, I think you answered my, my questions in there, that, that's, that's good. You can find uh, some detailed descriptions uh, of uh, this feature in the help document at the GitHub. Yeah, we, we, will, we will follow up uh, all those questions with, with detailed answers after this meeting uh, and send, send it to the group. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let some others on the call interrupt me as I prod with a couple of other things. Um, just to confirm, uh, I'll make a statement. Uh, it, BFE is most commonly deployed as an ingress controller. Is that accurate? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, currently, BFE is, uh, has a tradition uh, low, uh, low balancer, but, but uh, uh, we are now uh, adding uh, support uh, to make BFE serve as uh, ingress uh, a proxy. In fact, okay. it, is, it is supported now, but we haven't uh, open source it now. Uh, I think we can uh, open source this feature in one quarter. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have tossed the word controller in there, but of the, so the, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good follow-up question. Kind of the compatibility with the, sort of the, um, how Kubernetes native, or how, how deep does kind of BFE go in that regard, I guess, is a good sort of follow-up to characterize that. So the, the project ha has a, some gr uh, a healthy set of adoption. There's just some great statistics you guys are, are um, putting up about the project itself. Uh, pretty cool. Um, any performance analysis that's been done on the BFE? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, one of the weakness of BFE is uh, uh, the performance li is little uh, less than NGINX. Uh, because there are, there are two reasons. Uh, one is uh, uh, for Go language. Uh, uh, not the reason for Go language, but uh, uh, for NGINX, uh, uh, the memory usage is uh, very well optimized. But in BFE, we use a standard uh, network protocol stack uh, from Google. So I think Google uh, di uh, didn't do very, uh, very, uh, 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 very, very deep uh, optimize for the uh, network stack. Another reason is uh, uh, for Go language, uh, we can't control the uh, very uh, underlying uh, the the. The, the, um, the, the real threat, uh, but, uh, uh, but for NGX can use uh, such, a, such a, uh, features as uh, uh, CPU affinity, but we can't do uh, optimization uh, about uh, CPU affinity. So I think that these two are the major reason for BFE can't uh, uh, do do uh, not so well as uh, NGX. But uh, the problem is uh, about uh, uh, one to two. Uh, uh, yeah, BFE performance is about uh, half or about 70% uh, uh, seven, uh, percent about uh, two to NGX. So I think uh, it is uh, uh, enough for most uh, scenario. <clears throat> Clearly it has been for uh, the adopters that you guys have today, so yeah. Um. So some deployments are much more perf you know, performance sensitive while you know, many others aren't and so. In fact, uh, in most of the scenarios, uh, uh, most people only use, for example, 10 to or 20 uh, machines uh, to run such a program. Uh, so so th th this overhead of to use more uh, machine is not a, a big uh, problem. But the, the cost for people is a more, a more big problem. A bigger problem uh, for for uh, 
for for here in China in Beijing, it is very difficult for uh, to to look for people who knows Nginx well. But it's very easier to find the people who know how to uh, uh, write a Go Long uh, program. So people cost is a very uh, good, uh, very important consideration to use Go language in this area. Uh, thanks for covering part of the governance of the project. It's uh, helpful to see the the number of maintainers and kind of the, the affiliation of those maintainers. Um, you guys have a, a Slack as well that you invite people into. Do uh, uh, you'd spoken a bit to? I think it might have been the second to last or the last slide about kind of the in context of the donation to the CNCF. Uh, I think you you might have spoken to a bit of the motivation. I'm here. Maybe, maybe I'll I'll ask it. Again, which is um, uh, how do you anticipate that BFE will uh, benefit from being within the CNCF, and maybe and maybe sort of how do you anticipate that the CNCF will benefit from BFE uh, being in the CNCF? How B uh, how CNCF will benefit from BFE? Uh, both, uh, yeah. I think it's mutually, mutually like. Uh, oh, mutually. Okay, okay. So, so uh, uh. I think uh, uh, ingress uh, ingress proxy is very important for uh, Kubernetes, right? So BFE provide another choice uh, to, uh, to 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 implement uh, the uh, ingress proxy. For example, in Baidu here, some some guys come to um, to uh, talk with me. Uh, I, I use Nginx as a, a, a ingress proxy, but Nginx is hard to to uh, to make uh, new features, so can you uh, uh, provide BFE for such a support? Uh, uh, this is a, a very uh, common scenario. Uh, for uh, for BFE, I think uh, uh, the the coordinative scenario is a very good, uh, very very large trend in the future, and uh, we uh, BFE must uh, must. Uh, uh, follow this trend, so BFE must uh, uh, provide both support uh, to uh, Kubernetes and the uh, cloud native. So this is a major reason why BFE come here to talk uh, with all you guys. Nice, nice, very good. Uh, I, I'm gonna be quiet and, and ask if others have questions. I have a quick one um, regarding Golang. So if you had to start BFE today, would you choose uh, some other language like Rust, for example? Uh, pardon? Uh, about language? language. Uh, like uh, like uh, if, you, if you write a uh, rewrite like a Go, uh, BFE right now, will, will you choose like languages like Rust or something like that? Oh, okay. Rust is, uh, uh, is uh, another very good, very good language. Uh, but uh, uh, one, one uh, difficult uh, is uh, about uh, the prog protocol stack. Uh, you know, the protocol stack is very complex. So uh, very honestly, uh, the protocol stack in BFE is uh, uh, from Google. So uh, if Rust can uh, have a very good proper stack. Uh, uh, we can consider rewrite BFE in Rust. But now, now in my opinion, uh, uh, the the proper stack is not very, very um, ready now. Yeah, for for Rust. So so Google is a a, a very major source for new. Uh, network protocol. So I, I, I believe that Google can support all advanced uh, protocol very quickly in Go language. Uh, in fact, I, I, I have a personal committee with uh, some uh, guys in uh, Go team in, uh, in, in Google. So, 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 uh, so, so, so this is a major reason why we choose Go language uh, as uh, the, the, the language of BFE. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, 
<clears throat> other questions? One thing that I, that I need to go back and review and, um, and maybe based on some of the questions, Miles and, and T that you guys have fielded today, um, it, I need to go back and look at the proposal and just uh, ensure that there's uh, clarity around which, which of the sort of BFE family of components are included in the proposal and, and sort of uh, which ones aren't. Uh, just, which is probably already in, in there and pretty clearly spelled out, I suspect. But. This page? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. And today, today we're really just like in terms of um, the the what's proposed to be yeah. uh, donated. Yeah. Which, which part is proposed uh, to be the CNCF uh, like a sandbox project or which one is not uh, open sourced right now and uh, whether they will be open sourced later or it will be like a close source for commercial purpose. Um, yeah, something like that. So can you, can you point it, can you point them out? Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Uh, they, they, this component that is uh, the forwarding engine of BFE is now open source. Uh, and we plan to open source more, more component later. Uh, for example, here is a, a reader for log and uh, here's the, the cache service, and here the API server. Uh, we we all plan to uh, to open source later, but uh, we will um, uh, cl close. Uh, we will not open source some key features, for example, some 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 advanced uh, uh, plugin or, or other uh, other uh, support for very large large system uh, for large uh, very large scenario. Thanks for that. That helps clarify. Yeah, thanks for that. Other questions? Get him in quick before uh, T and Miles uh, fall asleep. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, guys. Uh, Thanks so much for staying up late and for presenting this. Um, I really enjoyed just uh, uh, hammering uh, you guys with a bunch of questions. It was uh, all of the fun was on uh, on my side of the table for the questions. I think Nic Nicolai had uh, some, some great uh, questions tossed in there. One of them that was around you know WebAssembly, kind of you know Wasm, and and um, kind of an interest uh, thought provoking question around. Um, the you know if if you could do it all over again what what architectural choices or technology choices might you make differently and and just kind of in context of that um, the eBPF as a sort of another uh, technology that comes to mind as a uh, this is mostly just a, uh, as a as an interesting one relevant to um, the problems that BFE is solving and so. Uh, just a side comment, I guess. Uh, 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 guys, thanks very much. Uh, anything from anyone else on the call? Otherwise, we'll, can, we'll end. Thank you much, uh, uh, gentlemen. We'll, we'll um, reach out with a, a few other questions. We'll get you, try to get you through the process uh, promptly. Amy will make sure of that. Uh, other than that, thanks so much for staying up. We'll see everyone in a couple of weeks. Thank you. All I'll right. see everyone. Bye all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.